Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So today's video is gonna be something a little different if you couldn't tell. So I actually got this look inspired by um, Lester Lux on YouTube and then she got it inspired by this guy, um, I think his name is Sergey. I hope I said that right. His Instagram account is milk1422 and he's just super talented and I was having a really hard time trying to decide which look I wanted to do of his and um, the one that Lester Lux did was the one that stood out the most for me and it was just super colorful and really fun so it was the one I decided to go with. I think I'm gonna do some more looks like this and some more of his um, work just because they're so fun and I actually ended up buying a eyeshadow palette specifically for this look because I didn't have any colors to work with. I'm such a neutral person but it actually was worth it because I'm going to be trying a lot of more colorful different looks like this anyways. So if you guys would like to see how I got this look then just stick around and keep watching. I'll show you guys the inspo pick. Um, so it's this one here. I have it on my mom's iPad because I use my iPhone to film so this is why this is like super extravagant <laughs> but this is the picture here um it's like super colorful really really fun so this is like the whole picture obviously my lips i didn't do it like that um i just don't have any colorful liquid lipsticks so i couldn't really do anything with like purple and blue on my lips um and i kind of just took what lester Lux did with her lips and applied it to mine and just went with the blue because i wanted to bring out more of the blue in the eyeshadows because I found that it looked more purple and pink toned so I was like I'll just go with a blue lip bring out the blue why not so if you guys would like to see how I got this look then please just keep watching so for eyeshadow I actually bought this palette specifically to do this look and it is the Shani or Shani S-H-A-N-Y um, ultimate eyeshadow palette it has 180 colors and then if you actually lift these guys up there's more shades underneath and then you can also slide these over and then there's more shades underneath there so to start off i'm going to be using this precision beauty makeup brush and it's i'm sorry smudge brush and i'm going to be taking this yellow shade here i'm going to be putting that all over the bottom of my eyelid like really close to my waterline um just because it's got very light yellow tones there it didn't um, seem as pigmented as i wanted it to be so i ended up going in with this kind of orangish yellow tone shade and that was a little bit better so i just packed that right over top of the yellow shade that i used i find it really hard to find a really pigmented yellow eyeshadow. I don't know if it's just me, but I have a hard time. Then I'm going to be taking this FE1 Simply Essentials brush and I'm going to be taking that kind of fuchsia purple shade and popping that all on the inner upper corner of my eye and just blending it all out. They tend to kind of stick with the pink all near the top part and the eyebrow, so I'm going to be blending, in, blending it in with my eyebrow as well. Then just taking this fluffy Morphe eyeshadow brush, I'm going to be taking that yellow, or yellow, my god I can't speak any time that I try to do a voiceover. I'm going to be taking that green shade and popping that just on top of the yellow that we put on our eyelids. So you're kind of just putting that more tightly towards your waterline so that the yellow still does peep through the green. Then taking this other Morphe eyeshadow brush that I don't know the name of because it came in a pack. And that last blue shade in the bottom left hand corner, I'm going to be popping that on the outer corner of my eyes and then blending it up towards the tip of my eyebrow. I honestly don't even know what to say in this makeup tutorial because there's no like rhyme or reason to why I'm doing anything. It's basically just me recreating this guy's picture. Um, then I'm going to be taking this other Morphe eyeshadow brush and that purple kind of neon lilac shade and I'm going to be putting that just outside of where we put the blue and blending it in with the blue as well so that it kind of all morphs together. Then I'm just wiping off my translucent powder that I was using to bake with and then I'm going to be going in with a dark red toned shade and popping that just in the crease. It's right beside the black shade there. I'm going to be popping that into the crease and kind of blending it in with the pink just because in his picture you can see that the crease is a little bit darker and I don't know if it's just like 
the shadowing of the eye but I want to make it look as close to it as possible so blending that in with the pink and then taking this little Morphe brush and those two light blue shades that are side by side there I'm going to be putting those on me me oh my god on my inner corner of my eye and blending them down as well just so that they can blend out nicely with the bottom waterline then I'm taking all of the shades that I used before I'm taking the green the blue and the purple and I'm popping those all on the butter butter you guys I'm out I'm out I'm popping those all on my bottom waterline and dragging them down they're kind of like clown triangles slash tear looking things don't know how to describe it but that's what they look like I then just wanted to make some areas look a little bit darker so I took a darker blue shade and started packing that on top of where I had already put the blue and just blending that all out with all of the colors again I just wanted some places to be a little bit darker than others to give my eye some dimension and some kind of shadowing effects and then I'm just taking that same yellow shade and popping that on my crease again, my crease, on my lid again, um, just because I wanted it to, again, pop a little bit better. For the brows, they were kind of a challenge because in his picture, they're very, like, sparse brows and they, the hair is very long on them and kind of bushy. So I was trying to draw out some hairs, but my eyebrows are very finely, like, trimmed, so it was just not working very well for me, <laughs> as you can probably tell. Um, now I'm just going back in with some of those eyeshadow shades again, darkening up some areas, blending everything out, making sure everything looks nice and smooth. Then I took an eyeshadow or a eyeliner brush and took the red that I used in the crease and black, mixed those two together, and I'm popping those on the crease again just because I wanted it to be a little bit deeper than it already was, and just blending it out again with all of the other colors. I then took my Aqua XL liner from Makeup Forever, and this is in the black shade, and this Morphe smudge brush, and I just smudged out the liner that I put on my water, water, my god, my bottom water line. <laughs> I'm just smudging that out so that it's not such a straight line, and just making it all blend nicely again with all of the colors that I put underneath. For bronzer, I took the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer, and I'm just putting that as kind of my contour and also in my temples and forehead area. Um, she has more of like peachy toned uh, contour so I figured that would probably be the best one to go with because it is a very warm toned bronzer. Then I'm just taking that same Morphe brush that I used for my purple eyeshadow and I'm popping that eyeshadow just at the bottom tip of my nose because it is more shadowed there in the picture so I'm just making that a little bit darker with the eyeshadows. Then I'm going to be going in with this kind of peachy coral color and I'm taking that same brush that I used to contour my nose and I'm using that to pop all over my bronzer. So she has a very peachy toned kind of contour slash blush so I figured I would just use that eyeshadow because it would be the most pigmented and most coral thing that I have to go with that. She's also got a little kind of something something on the chin so I'm putting that same eyeshadow on the chin then taking my NYX full figured mascara and popping those all over my bottom and top lashes and then my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara I'm popping that just on my top lashes just for thickness in the picture there's some little streaks of color so I took my Smashbox um, primer water and just sprayed these little Ahui brushes and I just popped all of those in the shades that I used for the eyeshadow and I'm just dragging those all straight down into the tears. Spraying your brush with some sort of Fix Plus or setting spray will just make your eyeshadow more pigmented and pop a lot more and give your eyeshadow a little bit more dimension. For lashes, I'm going to be going in with our Dell's Professional Natural Lashes, and these are in Wispy. And I just use those ones because the lashes in the picture look very separated and long and natural looking. So then for the bottom lashes, I just took my liquid liner and I'm just dragging down straight black lines to make them look like really long bottom lashes. And I'm just carving out my contour with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. To outline my lips, I'm using my NYX eyebrow pencil just because if I make any mistakes it's a lot easier to go back and take off without ruining your makeup. Once I had the outline done I then went back over it with my liquid liner. I just found this the best way to do it because I don't actually have a black um, lip liner and the liquid liner actually won't bleed on my lips. It dries super quickly so it was just a really easy alternative to lip liner. To fill in my lips I'm using this light blue snazaroo face paint. 
I chose blue because I wanted to bring out the blue in the eyeshadow because I felt like it was more purple and pink toned. So I just thought that this would kind of bring the whole look together. Then using my Aqua XL eyeliner, I'm going to be outlining my lips again with that and then kind of blending it all out with the blue so that it has more of an ombre effect. Then just taking this paintbrush that I got from Michaels and a white Snazaroo face paint, I'm going to be using that to just kind of dot on those paint splats or kind of face highlights. Then to make the highlighted areas of my face a little bit more bright, I just took a matte white eyeshadow and just started dusting that all over those areas just to brighten up the entire face. And this is the final look you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!